Hi, first graders. Today we are going to be learning about producers and consumers. So a producer is someone who provides goods or services. So do you remember yesterday we talked about goods and services? And so a producer is someone who gives goods or services. A consumer is someone who buys or uses the goods and services. A market is where you sell something. So when you're at the grocery store, that is called a market. If you are at the mall or you're buying a new toy, that is called a market because they are selling the toys or the food. The word order is when you ask someone to send you a good. When you order something, you're asking the producer to send the consumer a good. A producer provides goods or services. Farmers and carpenters produce goods. Doctors provide services. So let's look at this picture and let's talk about the producer in this picture. So the producer is this picture because the producer makes the chair. The producer makes the chair. This picture is the consumer because the consumer buys the chair. A consumer is someone who buys the goods and services. So some goods come from really close, like maybe in Antioch or California, but other goods may come far away. So maybe they come from somewhere else in the United States. Producers can be consumers too, because producers have to buy what they need to make something. A carpenter might need wood, glue, and nails to make a chair. So producers sell their goods and services. They can sell their goods and services to a store, like a grocery store. Some producers sell goods online where consumers would order from their computer. So let's look down here. This is a producer because he is building what looks like a birdhouse. So he is building it, but he is also a consumer because he had to buy the wood and the nails, and maybe some glue, if he had to use glue. So he is a producer and a consumer. So let's go back. A producer provides the goods or services. So remember, a producer makes the good, and a consumer buys the good, okay? And so for today, when you're done watching this lesson, make sure you finish your activity in Seesaw.